Hi, well, welcome to another video. Uh, I am here to talk about the Camco travel toilet. Um, let me just finish up what I'm doing here and then I'll be right with All you. All right, so here it is. This is the Camco travel toilet and we, we really liked it. So there's a few uh, things about it. First of all, the lid is latched, so you open the lid here. Uh, there's a decent sized bowl and a decent sized seat. It is not creaky or squawky at all. I really liked how solid it felt. There is a manual pump for water. So it cleans the bowl really well. You fill the water here. Um, I believe it holds four gallons. Now, let's say you've done what you come to do and it's time to flush. One of the things that I've noticed is there is a definite splash factor when you pull the lever over here. Um, I think it just builds up pressure from fermenting material. <clears throat> I don't know. But always, when you're about to flush, close the lid because you will see, watch. So it's completely clean and dry. This is how you flush. It basically just opens a gate valve. So now it's down in this lower tank. And I bet you, no, it didn't splash this time, but there's not really any pressure. But anyway. Trust us. Yeah, trust us. So here's how you dump this thing. Around the back, there is a lever or lever. You pull that and the two halves apart so the, you have your water tank and your seat there and this is where all the product flows um, there's a nice handle for carrying it at the back and then basically what you do is you turn this around and it's tight it's a new toilet although we've used it you open this and you just let her rip, bombs away. There's this handle here. I will tell you, it is completely worthless. Um, that's my opinion. One of the things I really wish they had done is put a handle at the front, because if you're, I dumped this on a toilet and into a sewer drain uh, at an RV park, and you've got, what is this, five gallons? eight pounds to the gallon of liquid, that's 40 pounds plus whatever the plastic toilet weighs. So let's just say 35, 40 pounds, and you've got it on a slippery toilet. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a handle here? Like there's this, but yeah, that's a flaw in the design, in my opinion. Uh, overall functionality, I've been, we've been very happy with it. We have used it for all functions, number one and number two. Um, smell, that's another thing I hear a lot. The first time I ever dumped this, I dumped it in a toilet at an RV park. And there was, a, I don't have a great sense of smell. There was a smell. What I figured it out to be is number one. And we basically let this fill up as much as we could just because we we're curious, how long is it going to last? I think the answer to that was like four days or so. Um, and that's, you know, doing the whole job. Um, there was a definite smell of number one and we did put in the little pouches that came with it. Um, so be that what it may. Uh, after that, dumping it in a sewer dump at an RV park was really easy and uh, no smell is what I thought. Uh, Peggy dumped it a couple of times because, you know, you want the full experience. Uh, that was predominantly number one. Any smell, Peggy? A little. Okay, if you can't hear her, she said a little. She's on the other side of the camera. So that's the deal. Uh, overall, a, a great product. We are going to use this in our vintage trailer, and it's obviously very portable, uh, easy to use. It works, and... Uh, what more can you say? It's a toilet that works and it's portable. So there you go. That's our review of the Camco portable toilet. 
Oh, and putting it back together is, is really easy. You spin this back around, except you go the right way. And incidentally, here's when you pull the flusher valve, this is what happens. It's just a gate valve. Um, then there's little latches here. So you put this on here and pull this and you're back in business to do your business. Matter. All right, here we are. We're gonna dump this in a simulated RV sewer. I moved the thing around again. Put that down. Here's the sewer cap. And see what I mean about the handle. But it just, if you're careful, look, look, look. And there's a pressure release here. So really no spills, no mess. Pretty easy to do. And now you're ready to go back to Taco Tuesday and refill. Happy camping and uh, hope you're flushed with joy over this video.